love summer. Me too. The nights get later. There's time for lots of fun, like family vacations, and just lots of celebrations. June especially is traditionally a time for weddings and graduation parties. There's lots of summer pool parties and the kids are getting out of school. It's awesome. But do you know how summer can actually be bad for you? Hi, I'm Jamie Pfeffer. I'm a life balancing coach and I love helping people reduce their stress, boost their happiness, and create the extraordinary lives that they deserve. I love helping them align what's in their head with what's in their heart so they feel happy, free, and fulfilled. So wait a minute. Did I say a minute ago that summer can actually be bad for you? I did. Summer, believe it or not, is a high time for stress. I want to invite you to a brand new event that I've created. It's called the Stress-Free Summer Project. It's going to be running all summer long. You're going to be getting videos from me and activities. And the best part? It's totally free. So what can you do if you do feel stressed out this summer? I have a lot of tips and tricks to share with you, and I want to share the first one today. And that is about worry and decreasing worry. Like I said before, lots of people have many things going on in the summertime. And some people, when they have a really busy schedule, they start to get in their head and worry. And I know this because I used to be one of these people. I used to worry constantly. Then I realized that this worry was not only not helping me, it was actually putting more stress on me. I read a statistic that three out of every four doctor's visits is, are caused by stress-related illnesses. I started to feel fluttering in my heart and it felt really uncomfortable. And I decided at a certain point, I have got to stop this worry. I have a lot of tools and techniques that I'd like to share with you over the summer. And the first one that I would like to share is just to write your worry down. Sounds really simple, I know, but I want you to take my cue and I want you to try this during your week. So when you find yourself worrying, I want you to just write down one sentence of what's worrying you. I learned about this technique from Brian Tracy, a famous business guru who has more than 600 audiobooks on the market in the areas of success, business, and just extraordinary living. So you want to take a moment and write down what your worry is. For example, if you're worried about not having enough time to fit all of the birthday parties on a Saturday into your schedule, just get a piece of paper and a pen and write down, I feel worried about not having enough time to get all this done. That's the first part. Part number two is to write down something that you can do about it. You want to take action. So whether it is choosing not to worry and just trust that everything is going to work out, or you could look at it and say, hmm, maybe I could let one of these parties go. Maybe I don't go to a certain party. Or you might have another idea of maybe I leave one party 15 minutes earlier and I leave the second party 15 minutes earlier as well. So that's it. It's a simple two-step technique, but I want to invite you to do it all this week. It's a really great habit to get the worry out of your head and into form onto paper. When you do that, you really stop the worry from running your life. You step back into your power. So I'd love to know how this works out for you. Scroll down below and leave me a comment and let me know, what are you worried about this summer? Are you worried about having enough time? Are you worried about having too much time? 